If it is feeling a bit like deja vu in here, well, I understand. I feel it too. Yes, this is one of the latest Zodiac watches, the Zodiac Super Seawolf World Time. And you may be thinking, except for some very minor aesthetic changes, this looks a lot like the last Zodiac you reviewed. You would be correct on that. There's a story to why that is, besides the fact that this is the latest watch Zodiac is promoting, but the slight changes might be pleasing to some, and we will talk about all that and more in this video. So let's jump right into this review of the World Time Seawolf. First things first, yes, this very much is almost the same watch I recently reviewed. It has almost identical specs, the same movement, the same case and bracelet, and really the only changes are the bezel insert and dial color. That is it. Because of that, this will be a shortened video. So if you haven't seen it, I will link to the Topper's Edition GMT up in the right hand corner here so you can get a more thorough review. For those that didn't see that review or rather not watch, quick refresh. Here are the specs. It is a 40 millimeter width, 13 millimeters thick, 47 millimeter lug to lug, 20 millimeter lug width, domed sapphire crystal, K1 mineral crystal bezel glass, a Soprod GMT C125 movement, 200 meters water resistant, of course, with a screw down crown, and you're looking at a price of $1,795. Now, realistically, a dial color change in different bezel insert really does not warrant another review, but I will be as trans uh, transparent as possible. I was contacted about reviewing this piece more than six months ago, and once the details were worked out, gave my address and awaited the watch. Well, as almost every industry has dealt with, there were delays, and this product was pulled, and the release date pushed back till September. In the meantime, they had asked if I would like to review another watch, and I did so on the limited Topper GMT. What I did not realize at the time was that the two watches were so similar, or in this case, almost the same watch. Now to be fair, I talked about this in the last video as well, Zodiac gets quite the use out of this case and crown design. If you take a look through the Zodiac Super Seawolf catalog, you will notice the majority all use this case and crown and bezel as well. And now when I say bezel, obviously they can change the inserts, but the bezel itself stays the same. The bracelet is the same on most as well, and I have to wonder why they can't change things up a bit more. Different crowns or different bracelets, I mean, they are kind of limiting themselves, and if you own one of these, I'm not sure what the reason would be to buy another, unless you are just someone that collects that way and likes to have all the versions of a watch. My thoughts on these watches have not changed. I like the overall design of the case, Though I wish the crown was either larger or more of a rugged dive watch crown, these just don't look the part, and even though they are solid and built well, they feel flimsy to me. The bracelet is the exact same, and again, I like it, it looks good, it feels good on the wrist, and I do like the clasp. I do prefer the look of this World Time over to Topper's GMT, only because I like this dark gray and black bezel combo, uh, combo more than the silver dial and red blue bezel of the Topper's Edition, but there is a silver dial version of this World Time as well, and it comes with a red bezel. On my 7.5 inch wrist, it wears well, though a little small for my tastes, but it is an attractive watch, even though I know some do not like the World Time bezel with all the cities printed on it. It doesn't really bother me, and as I said, I find this to be a more attractive than the Topper's Edition, but that's purely subjective. The loom is the same as well. It glows nice, but not for long, as there is just not that much surface area for it to be applied. If you like the look of the Zodiac Super Seawolf in its current iteration, then this is yet another option available. Some of the more recent GMT versions have been very bright and, dare I say, out there, and this dark gray dial uh, yeah, dark gray dial, black bezel combo may be more suitable to some with more traditional tastes, and of course can be worn in many more situations. 
So I do apologize for reviewing two watches that are so similar, but I hope you enjoyed the look at it and this video. I am hoping to get my hands on the Zodiac Super Seawolf 68 Saturation, which is a much different watch than this, as you can see here. So if you want to see that one reviewed, leave a comment down below. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. All links will be in the description. And if you can take a few seconds to hit that like button and leave a comment, it would be appreciated. Of course, I want to know what you think of this piece. So leave that in a comment down below as well. And let me know if you have any questions. If this is your first time here or haven't subscribed yet, don't deprive yourself any longer. Hit that sub button and that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.